So there's a really cool video you need to go and check out on YouTube, uh, Rick Shields and Dan Grieve, who's the short game specialist. And it's, it's like an hour's worth and it's packed full of really, really good information. And I just want to briefly go over a few things that Dan was uh, talking to Rick about. Rick's been obviously struggling with his short game for a long time, as you, as you probably know. And um, you know, Dan gave him some great tips on there to, to work in his short game. And he sort of introduced the G-Force wedge as well, which Rick didn't particularly hit very well, but I'm going to talk about the reason why it was to do with the transition. And I'm going to show you how this, this G-Force wedge is really going to help you fine tune your short game. In Dan and Rick's video, Dan's talking very much about on the backswing in the transition, almost feeling like the club's releasing quite early on the way down. Now the club actually wants to do that naturally. It's going to show you a little demonstration that I put together for you a while back now, which is uh, how a flail works. And it basically shows you the relationship between the left shoulder socket, the left arm, the wrist, and the golf club. And it shows you how they work in the downswing. And if you look at it, um, the first one I'm going to show you is actually allowing gravity to, to make the flail work. And what happens is when we allow gravity to, to make the flail work, the club naturally wants to release early. And you'll see that as it comes down towards the golf ball, you'll sort of see how it wants to release early. So this contraption is a flail. It's basically two pieces of tube in and it's got a hinge on it. Right, so that, that is basically trying to show you how your left arm and the club shaft are going to work in the golf swing. So I messed around with it a little bit to begin with. I, I videoed it in slow motion. Um, I let it go in its own way to see what happened. And what I could see that it, it was actually releasing early, kicking forwards quite early on its own weight, on its own momentum. So as, it, as we let the flail go, we can almost see it's releasing back here. So it's not doing this, it's not releasing up there. It's just naturally on its own weight and momentum releasing about here. Now that's great for using the bounce on your golf club because if we get that club just to naturally release early, it's going to come in nice and shallow. You imagine a plane coming down to land, touching down on the runway, taking back off again. That's really how we want to be hitting these wedges, nice shallow angle of attack, because we can use the bounce on the club then, and it'll just allow us to glide through the ground. Um, whereas if you lean in the shaft forwards too much, you're going to come down very steep and sharp on the ball, you know, leaning the handle forwards or pushing it, uh, trying to get shaft lean. You're going to come down really sharp on the ball and there's no margin for error there so if we can allow that natural release dan's talking about which is here and that's really just gravity feel like your arms fall on the downswing and then as they're coming down clubs releasing you're going to match that up with your body rotation so your body rotation or your body is responding to the golf club all right Make sure that you're not trying to get open. So as you're coming down, don't, don't feel like you're trying to get open when you're playing these shots, okay? You're gonna get all stuck and everything. You know, just let that weight of the club and the arms fall, let the club release, let your body naturally respond to it, and then you turn through to the target. Good way of feeling that natural release is to do a few one-handed swings. Just take the club in your left hand, just swing it back and then through. And just feel what it wants to do on the way down. Okay, doesn't want to do this. Don't feel like I'm driving it, just, just let it go. Do a few with the left hand, switch hands, do a few with the right, feel the weight of the club. You can kind of see the butt end of the club as it comes down, it wants to pivot and then the club head swings forward. That's really important. What you don't want to do is be driving this club forward and don't want to be pushing it. Never push the golf club. The other drill you want to do is a towel, tuck it under the left armpit, across the chest, under the right armpit. Connection is really important with all these short game shots. Just do it with your shirt when you're on the golf course. Really try and feel a nice connection with the upper body. So you go to the ball, get, get your weight into your left side. You want to get a feeling of your shoulders being pretty level, your spine vertical, chest in front of the ball. But the important thing is the pivot point. 
which is really your left shoulder socket right here. So what we're trying to do is, is get that left shoulder socket and use that as a pivot point where we can just rotate back and through. That's really going to be the low point for your golf swing and that's going to improve your strike, which will improve your distance control as well. Because if the left shoulder socket sort of gets too far back here, we're going to find ourselves hitting the ground, uh, catching the ball very thin there. So it's really important to feel as though everything almost sort of just pivots around that point there. So then you can strike the ball a lot more solid from that position. So once we've got the setup, we're then moving into the swing. So we're looking for a connection with the upper arms and the body. We're looking to be nice and relaxed and we're looking for rotation. We rotate back, we rotate through and then we let the club naturally release on the downswing. Let's just set a couple of shots to show you. I've got about 45 yards to go here. Take my setup, nice and relaxed and then just rotate back and through. So when I'm coming through, I really get sense and feeling of uh, my upper arms really connected to the chest. I can feel the club releasing. I can feel it go at the bottom there. And that's giving me a nice shallow angle of attack. Club's coming in nice and shallow to the ground, just brushing the ball away. And that's exactly how you want to do it. Appreciate you watching this video. Any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.